All right, so this is intended as being more of an vlog slash video biography, I guess, of my progress and my attempt and the building of Fountain as a company, as well as my um, journey through life and the transformation from going from where I was to who I am today to the person that I am hoping to be and willing to be and going to be um, in the future. Uh, it's not really intended as a, anything more than personal use. I'm putting it out there for anyone who finds value in it. If they find value in it, cool. If not, cool. I don't actually care all that much about that. Um, but I realized that one of the things that I would like to do is be able to have a log or a way of looking back at the progress and uh, individual thoughts that I've had along the journey. So, to get this kicked off and started, I guess I'm going to go with my starting point, which was a few years ago, and then we'll fast forward through a few years to my starting point of this, uh, finding and thinking about Fountain, and then going forward we will kind of just do day-by-day -day breakdowns of my thoughts and that sort of thing as just basic journal entries and progress updates and etc etc so about well shit let's see 2012 13 2013 i would say so i guess f six years ago fuck so about six years ago um i was pretty depressed i was um, emotionally and mentally stunted. I didn't really have a direction to go in life. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I basically was really lost and not a lot of, I guess, hope or really substance of any kind and who I am was as a person. I mean, I, people would think that I was a good person and like I did good things and I um, helped people when I could, but like as far as actually adding value of self-worth or adding value of um, a purpose to the world and stuff like that, I was essentially a shell and a, a, a bystander of life, so to speak. I was working at Buffalo Wild Wings and didn't have any clue of anything to do with my life outside of that. I thought school was the answer, it wasn't. I dropped out, didn't enjoy school. So that was a big kind of, as I looked for in life, failure, I suppose. People consider that to be a failure. Um, give me a second, I'm gonna try to plug my phone in, I guess. So that was kind of an interesting standpoint of my life to where I didn't, have a lot going for me and I didn't have a whole lot of direction. Um, changing point for that was I remember, oh, probably um, I don't know, a year-ish into working at Buffalo Wild Wings or maybe six months, I don't know. Um, I guess maybe a year. Um, about a year of working of, into Buffalo Wild Wings, I basically walked in one day and I thought, had a very distinct thought and feeling of, if this is all life has for me, if this is the entirety of life, then I'm going to kill myself. I had no reason for me to continue on. I had no reason to... Um, push further, push past any sort of, um, uh, yeah, I had no reason to actually, like, move forward with life and continue doing the same thing I'd been doing every day. And at that point, I realized I didn't want to die, but I didn't have any reason to live. And so I was kind of stuck. And that was the kind of point where I made a decision to start figuring out how to get myself unstuck. I started doing a lot of research at first into like 
my religious beliefs and my spiritual beliefs and my philosophical beliefs. I started doing a lot of self-development, looking into like just different theories about the world, Buddhism, Hinduism, um, Christianity as a whole, uh, atheism. I was atheist for a long period of time, um, kind of went down to agnostic and now I'm not really agnostic or any kind of sort of theistic or anything like that. I'm just, I would describe myself as spiritual, but it was a very long process of myself work and deciding that one day I was going to be something valuable for the entire world, regardless of whatever I thought of myself at the time. I knew that I would figure out a way to find value in myself and then from that provide value into the world. So fast forward to from there to, let's see, May of 2018. I had been working on myself consistently for, let's see, that would have been five years, four or five years at that point in time. Um, from that decision point to at working at B-dubs and quitting B-dubs to um, that period of time in May, I took my first vacation ever. I had never actually had a vacation. It was kind of fun. It was I went out to Colorado for a week, visited some friends, did some hiking. It was great. In that period of time, while I was out there, I did a lot of self-reflection. I did a lot of, you know, personal stock keeping, I guess you could say. And, you know, bless my friends out the time. They let me use their car to just drive around by myself, kind of thinking about things, exploring, um, taking into, um, I guess, my being or my thoughts without having to deal with um, interacting with other people, even if they were my friends, you know, it was still nice to be able to have that introspective period of time for myself. And I came back to Indiana and I was a different person. I changed my name from, I decided that I was actually a different person. I had progressed enough in my journey of no longer feeling depressed and suicidal to, um, actually a person of, um, I, f I had developed a self-worth in myself um, and so I felt like I was a different person. I moved, um, not moved, like not moved locations, but I, I came back to Indiana and I changed my name from Malcolm, which was my first name. And I started going by Richard, which is what I go by now. And that entire process was kind of hectic. I had friends who were understanding and accepting of the reason why I changed my name. I had other friends who like, they understood, but it was very difficult for them to accept, um, I had people who said, no matter what, they'd be calling me Malcolm and, you know, that's fine, whatever. I don't really care. I don't, like, I don't, I don't think of myself as that person anymore. So, like, when you call me that, it's one of those things of, like, you're only recognizing who I was and you're no longer recognizing who I am now. So, um, from that standpoint on, I really started looking at opportunities for myself. Um, financially, I was not in that much of a different place from working at B-dubs. I was making more money, but like I was also spending still more money. I was going out not on a ridiculous amount and not nearly as like um, much as when I worked at B-dubs where I was drinking nightly to excess. It was more, um, I just went out with friends a lot and I was trying to still find uh, a friend group and still I wasn't super comfortable with just being by myself. I still wanted to have friends. I still wanted to have that validation of being part of the group. And so that was a recent kind of change for myself now where it is, I am okay not being part of the friend group that gets to go out with my friends all the time or gets invited out to those things all the time because that's not really who I'm trying to be. I'm not trying to be the person that just, you know, goes out to the club all the night, all the time with my friends. Like I'm trying to build something and I know that I have to spend time and effort onto that. So I've recently developed that. Um, but anyways, <clears throat> I came back, changed my name. Um, financially, like I said, I wasn't all that much different, but I started to make a, a budget and a financial plan to um, stop living paycheck to paycheck and start actually 
moving to a better fiscally responsible area. Um, I'm still not quite there yet. Obviously, I've got work to do and improvements to do, but like I'm getting better and that's exciting. I actually have a savings account now. I actually have a little bit of money in the savings account and it fluctuates in amount, but it's it's there. It's it's a little bit more stable there. Um, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, still not all that much like circumstance wise has been different, but I had laid a lot of foundational work of who I am as a person to where I can now build my life on that as a person. I no longer feel like I can't like the ground shifting and stay unstable. I have a stability framework, which I think is extraordinarily important when you're, when you have ambitions as big as mine, like not a whole lot of people are willing to out loud say that they are going to acquire a net worth of $10 billion in their lifetime. And that is not necessarily a goal of mine as a, because of the money or anything like that. Like the main, my reason for doing that is that I want to be an example for people and companies and everyone else in the world of you can do extraordinarily large things. If your job is, if your goal is to create a wealth, you can incredibly, you can incur and acquire a large amount of wealth without being an asshole, without treating the environment like shit, without paying your workers less than a livable wage, without being that person. You can still do that. And I believe that that's possible and that's what I'm going to do for that reason. Secondary goal for that is obviously with the net worth of that, I have a lot more influence and actionable ability to where I can fund things that I think are fundamentally important to our society, such as healthcare and environmental reform and environmental projects. I can take that pressure that the government and bureaucratic system is kind of in, capable of dealing with at a expedient enough level and privatize it to a point where it is in the hands more so of the people at an accelerated rate. Um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do, I guess, in a, in a less than uh, eloquent way of, sp of way of speech. Um, so that's an overview of where I'm at now. Um, currently my project is Fountain, which has gone through a couple name changes. Uh, originally I was going to call it Dionysus Fountain. Dionysus is the Greek god of wine and all that good stuff. Um, and then I shortened it to Dionysus. And then one of the business mentors that I was, um, learning from and in talks with really didn't like that name in the sense that it was just too hard to pronounce. Not a whole lot can, like people were confused by it, didn't know how to spell it, all that good stuff. Um, so it wasn't a very graspable name. So I went down to Fountain, which is a little, which is significantly more graspable, significantly easier to spell, significantly easier for people to get a hold of and still have that alliteration value and have that literary storytelling value because I can still use Dionysus as the mascot, as the um, main component for driving marketing and storytelling around that. And then the company itself is just the arm of Dionysus, so to speak. Um, so the company I'm starting is found it is an on-demand alcohol delivery company that is focused on providing a courier service to liquor stores so that their courier service and marketplace to liquor stores so that their customers can buy their pro alcohol from their computer or smartphone and from the comfort of their home home and have it delivered straight to their door in under an hour. That's kind of the whole higher level concept. It's very similar to Drizzly and Minibar and Saucy. Those are all companies that are doing similar things. I have some things that I'm interested in doing that are significantly different. I'm not really going to get into all that right now because that's not really the point of this, but, um, that's kind of the company that I'm starting right now. I came up with that idea in, well, shit, that was June or July of last year, uh, which is 2018, June or July of 2018. I've been working on it since. Uh, I have made significant amounts of progress. I have a business plan. I have financial records. I've got all those sorts of things. I figured out 
all kinds of hurdles such as like how the law actually works about it how i can work inside the law how to actually make sure that all of my um patrons are of legal age because it is alcohol how to limit underage consumption and all that good stuff so like i've made a lot of progress and that is extraordinarily um self-motivating i suppose would be the right word for it um but i still have a lot of work to have to do i've got a constant list of things that need to be done um i just finished today no not today friday i just finished friday um my first iteration of the website i am waiting on uh approval from my current vendor that i'm working with in lafayette west lafayette to set to link a bank account to it um which is just a kind of a technical technical re requirement for the direction of money flow um to stay legal which is important you want to stay legal um so once all that gets approved, I'll be able to start delivering in the Lafayette and West Lafayette area. So that's actually really cool and exciting. Um, today, I worked on adding more products into the website itself. I worked on reaching out to some people for a different idea that is also um, kind of, I guess, adjacent to this business plan and business model. They can feed off of each other. Um, and then I also reached out online to some communities and trying to find a app developer to build out the application from once the my Purdue students that I'm working with at Purdue to design out the user interface are finished with their portion of work. Um, so yeah, I guess that's kind of an update slash backdate of all the information. Um, going forward, I plan on this being more of just like a daily vlog of what I've done did that day, my thoughts on like business as of that day, and everything like that. Um, yeah, cool. That's it.